What's going on guys? We are checking out the Outer Rim DLC. Alright, my phone alarm is going off. Ooh, we got Greedo here. This is the Jabba's Palace map playing Extraction right now. It's the new game mode as well. Ooh. Ouch. all the new guns and gear you unlock by doing Jabba's contracts. Woo. So unfortunately I'm going to have to use these smoke grenades and flash grenades. Contracts are pretty easy. It's mostly just get X number of kills with this gun and This one I just have to use flash grenades and stun grenades So let's see if it shows it in the menu. Yeah, here they are Oh. So I didn't see an option to play Walker Assault. I did so I don't know if there were more Walker Assault matches or there weren't any. I really hope there were. That'd be horribly disappointing if there weren't. Level cap has also been increased. There's no escaping the five oh first. Oh, it's Han Solo! Man, I thought I blinded that guy. Oh shit, Rain Corpid! No Rain Corp. But it's the Rain Corpid! And someone got angry in here. Those rebels are moving. Were your orders unclear? Shit. Not exactly sure how this game mode works yet. Just know we're supposed to stop them from getting to where they're about to get. Oh no. It 
seemed like we were doing so good. Apparently I defended the most shipments. Who knew? So you can see the uh, level cap has finally been increased. So I'm sure it'll be a fun slog. Like I said, there's only one new customization option for the Rebels. Hut contracts is what will get you new weapons and star cards. See if it shows you under the stats. <clears throat> there we go. Jabba. No salacious crumb, though. Wanted his stupid little laugh. Oh, nice. Just need to play a lot of extraction. <laughs> Alright, let's see what it's like as the rebels in Jabba's Palace. No new emotes for those that are fans of emotes. It's a little disappointing on the customization front, the lack of options. Okay, so we have to stand near it to make it move. The princess will help you take care of those stormtroopers. Oh shit! Still figuring this map out, and I'm dead. Irish white with I get objective score in this. It's very strange. Ha. Uh, that flash grenade does not seem to blind them very well. Oh shit. Damn. Alright, we hit the first checkpoint. So far, so good. The shipment has been Oop. held up. Get those Imperials away from it. So yeah, it just seems like an escort game mode where you have to stand near the objective and it moves. Or something. Let's see what's going on up here. I don't think I've ever used these smoke or flash star cards. Oh. Why is no one playing as Nina? Is he not an option on this map or something? Alright. Once again, to unlock all the new gear, you have to do the new hut contracts, which are basically kind of a glorified challenge mode. Uh, oh, there's Greedo. I hear his ass. Wait, Leia and Han are out at the same time? Alright. Oh, shit! Oh, there's the Rancor Pit. 
Ooh, you can now spectate different teammates. Don't let up. We've got to get those resources. I mean, it's going to be really long. That was real smooth moves on me. Real smooth. These challenges cannot be done soon enough. So for this one, it's you have to throw 20 smoke grenades and blind 20 enemies with your flash grenade to unlock the gas star card. One of the new ones. Having Return of the Jedi flashbacks while I run through this level. La da 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 da. Team seems to be doing pretty good though. Spies have tracked Darth Vader to your area. Be ready. Stay focused. Stormtroopers nearby. Oh. Oh, I got stuck on a teammate and couldn't back up. Oh, shit. No! Yeah, go in the Rancor pit. This is horrible when you turn a corner and Darth Vader's there to ruin your day. I don't know this map. Darth Vader around here? Oh, Darth! We're all blind! Should have just fired the rocket right at my feet when I got in that shield. How does he see me? Is there gonna be a deadly fucking staircase? Yeah. Oh my god, that dude is just racking up kills right now. I don't know where the hero tokens spawn yet. Oh my god. Oh no! I think I uh should have got a lot of blinds there. There's so many of them up here. Really gotta remember to use this rocket. Get this thing moving. Move. We got this. Boom. Another victory for the rebellion. What's going on guys, if you're just joining, this is New Outer Rim Gameplay. This is the new game mode, Extraction. Level was Jabba's Palace. I liked it. There's definitely a lot of hidden easter eggs in there that I was seeing. 
still working on unlocking new weapons and star cards. You do that through Hut Contracts, which is basically a new challenge mode. You can see right there. Ooh, little heroes vs. villains now. It seems like the only playlist you can play on these maps right now is a variety objective match, which I hate when they do that. And unfortunately, I also did not see an option for Walker Assault, so I'm not sure if any of the new maps are playable on that. That'll be a little disappointing. Boo. I wonder if Greedo and Nenumb are in this one. Yes, they are. The rebel scum are targeting our key personnel. Defend them at once. Now I wonder if you get to choose. Oh, shit, there's four of them. Fuck it, you don't have to choose. It's like my luck's real bad, then. Alright, where are these little bastards? Done, Leia. You're done. The uh, lack of Imperial customization options is disappointing, and by that I mean there is no new customization options for the Empire. I know a lot of people were hoping for some more Stormtrooper armor. Bye, Nine Up. Um. <clears throat> Ooh, a little toasty in here. Really hoping that gets some love in the next update. Maybe it'll be a free update. Maybe in the Death Star update pack. Ooh, hot. Where are you going, buddy? There is one new option as the Rebels. I'll show you guys that next round. Whoa, Disruptor Rifle. This is new. I'm gonna totally fuck it up, I bet, but... You thought you could hide from the Empire? Hey, Han, old buddy! Oh, Scorpion bike. Mount a counter-offensive. We must protect those remaining. Boo! I really wish they put voice chat in this game. Game modes like this, you need to be able to talk to your team. Oh! Oh! I got him! Here we go, first time playing as Greedo. Let's hope I don't die too fast. Any second now. So Heroes vs. Villains is now 4v4 in Heroes. Why? Why am I not in the game? What? Glitch? 
Okay. I don't know what just happened. Now let's see. That does something. It's a gas grenade. I don't know what that does. Pew, 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 pew. Alright, let's see what happens here. Excuse my bomb ass orange vest here. Solo. Pew, pew, pew. Oh. Leia. Ooh, damn, I'm hurt. Medic. health. Need that health. Also, oh, as you play with him and get kills, he unlocks more gear. That's kind of cool. The better you do with him, the better he is. Oh my god, I can't sh Shoot the right thing. I'm trying to stay up here and cover my team. So we're not all clustered together. I do want to play with this. There's Luke! Get the fuck out of here. No way of making that jump either. It's not looking good for Greedo, guys. I think I may be going down. Well, if there were four guys around me, that would have been great. See if I can get to this hell. Oh shit! Greedo Vision! Brought to you by the Disney Company. Someone get that hell? Nope, yep. I don't know. Oh, we won! See if I can uh, snag Greedo again. No. That's not very nice. Smoke for you. So like I said, guys, to unlock all the new gear. You need to do the new hut contracts, which is oh no, no. Uh, which is it's like a glorified challenge mode. Except you have to pay to unlock said challenges. It also appears there are... Why, how am I not hitting him? New daily challenges. And hopefully that means there's new regular challenges. What did I ever get for a new one? Oh, it was this game, I got it. 
hopefully that'll change it up a little. The level cap has been raised finally, so for those of you that like to get everything in. What's up, Solo? You were once one of us, you traitor. Yeah. None of us can see now. <laughs> oh, Greedo. Greedo. Got to get Leia. She's got nine out. There we go. Seems like a cool map. Do some more Greedo action. after this game we will leave because I don't really want to keep playing heroes vs villains see what else there is to offer Solo orders taunts. There's that, which is weird. There's angry Greedo. There's him flipping his gun, saying, "Come with me." Yeah, those are okay. I wish there was a straight-up call for Solo. Greedo vision. Or not. Ow, ow, ow. Fuck me. That was a horrible round. Emperor Palpatine, heal me. Show mercy. Oh god, it's 9 up. Yikes. Do not go low with Greedo. <laughs> Sorry, Vader, if I just ruined your day. Your faith in your friends is yours. Anyone? Gotcha! Nice job, Boba! Come on, two more. No! Oh. I don't want to be a stormtrooper. <laughs> do, 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 do. So the new game mode extraction seemed fun. I don't know if it's something I'm gonna play over like Walker Assault. I appreciate the uh, the bigger scale battles, and it seems like this DLC is mostly focused on these smaller scale battles, which is a little disappointing. The maps do seem beautiful, though. This is this one I like. I really like the Jabba's Palace map as well, so I played that earlier. to see how uh, this playlist stays filled out. That's going to kill me. Or not. 
get rid of that smoke grenade while I can. More flash, see what happens. Oh my god, did I get someone? Well, peekaboo, monkey honky. Right now you can only uh, do this in a playlist. These maps in a playlist is what I mean. So it's like uh, a mosh pit playlist, basically. Victory is at hand. All targets down. Ba -ba 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 -ba. One more, boys. Mmm. Mmm. All right. So now in Hero Hunt, you get to pick your heroes. I'm not sure if that's in the base maps. I'm assuming it's not. <clears throat> it does change it up a little, though. So if you are with a squad, you can all pick your favorite hero and play as said hero if there's one you're stronger with. <sighs> So far, Greedo seems okay. I'd love to play with them in a mode that wasn't this. And when I play as the Emperor, I like to be way more of a support player. I don't know where my whole team went, unfortunately. There's Greedo. Oh. Oh. Vader, you maniac! Held for you, Greedo. Take it. Take the hell. I left it for you. Nice. Boom. Oh, no one else wants to take it. We are going to get surrounded like that. Get him, boys. Oh, oh. Shit! I took out two of them. That's pretty good. Boba's got this. I trust you, Boba. I'm hoping the uh, hut contracts is something they definitely expand on. I'd love to see them do, like, kind of have those be weekly challenges where it refreshes, you know, every Tuesday or whatever day they pick out of a hat. <sighs> Just keep the game fresh. Um, obviously, I don't think they'll have new star cards and new weapons every week, although that would be great. <clears throat> I don't see that being the case. Jesus, the range on that thing. But I think that's definitely something that will add to replayability in the game if they can do that. It's really going to suck if I finish all these hut contracts and then that's just a useless section. This disruptor rifle is also new. I'm not sure how it works. So we're going to do a trial by fire here. And die. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't try to use it. Oh, thank God, I still have it. Shouldn't try to use it on Luke Skywalker. Unless he's facing the other way. Oh. What? What's happening? Oh, the timeout. No, I was about to use the disruptor rifle. I don't even get to play as a hero. Oh, I just want this game to end. Huh. <sighs> The problem with this is now it makes you wait until everyone picks their hero. 
just kind of annoying. And then it loads a little more. Essential personnel must be protected from the rebels. Here we go. Let's go, Palpatine. 501st has got your back. Ah, oh, damn it, Leia. You just had to put up your shield, didn't you? Greedo, careful. We need you. You're a worthless bounty hunter. Oh. Hello. Uh, you can't see anything. There we go. Completed the contract. Which means we got a new star card to try out. Why did I not? Ooh, there's a little glitch there. Hey, Leia. Uh. Oh! I fired! I swear I fired. Alright, we're gonna try out a new star card after this, I guess. None remain. Oh, <laughs> just let this game end. We're so close to winning. Ugh. Not usually very good with Boba Fett. He is not my forte. when the Emperor jumps. Wow. They got a turret down there. Whenever I use Boba Fett, I always pull the left trigger to aim in. <laughs> and I just fly up and miss everything. Oh, damn it. No, nope, wrong one, wrong one. Still time to surrender. Gotcha, Solo. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh god, my maturity level can be at an all time low. Oh, Leia! What are you doing in here, girl? What are you doing in here? No, you can't do that. That's cheating, Leia. Boom! No hiding in your bubble shield from Boba. Oh, please tell me you're gonna change the game mode of map. Most heroes defeated, alright. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be a grind to the next level. I'm not quite sure what the level cap is now. I'm gonna have to look. What? What?
cargo. Uh, let's check out this new... I don't have to use that hand anymore, thank god. Is it just unlocked? Yeah, it is. So now there's a... Uh, Palace Garage. Locate the cargo and haul it back to base safe. But why didn't I get any credits? Level cap's now 60, thank you. God, you think they could have gone a little higher than that? Four DLC packs, so it's gonna be 90? That's a weird number. Alright, this is another map I haven't played yet. Looks like this is where we keep the good old sand crawler. I did not change my hand because I forget to do that every time. Dioxys grenade. Wonder how fast this kills people. Is there a unsuspecting stormtrooper I can test this on? Anyway. Oh, you seem fun. Oh. I was just way Oh. Shit, I'm Oh, he's got a new gun. A lot of new guns are targeting rifles and hand cannons. I was disappointed I didn't see a blaster rifle. I still say the uh, starting weapons for the Empire and the Rebels are my favorite ones still. Peekaboo! Here, have some of that. Alright. Damn. <clears throat> oh, hello. Where were you taking that, Our buddy? Run, run! Damn! So, in reality, let's talk about this Dioxys gas grenade. Is it something you're gonna use much? I don't think so. It's a uh, damage over time grenade, and I just don't see why you would use it over a thermal detonator. One thing it could be good for is, I'm assuming it goes through bubble shields, as it's a physical object, not a laser. <clears throat> so it could be good for flushing enemies out of said bubble shield if you're playing against guys that use that. Unfortunately... Oh, right. I still want to see what this does. Goddamn charge up. Imperial forces return their cargo. I just don't see the benefit of using it over a thermal detonator, barrage. People love jetpacks. So I'm not sure how I feel about that star card. But, we'll see. Oh my goodness! This TIE Bomber guy is... 
Hey, look, cheap areas you can get with jetpacks. Someone explain fall damage to me in this game. I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! Damn it. The cargo has been picked up by the Imperials. What? We need that cargo, damn it! Here's something you can do. God damn it. See, so it can't really work as a trap. Because... I don't know. I'm just not sure. It seems like one of those star cards. Like the smoke grenade. And the flash grenade. That will just... Oh, really? Whoops. That will uh, just kind of fall to the wayside. People will forget about it. But, you know, I could be wrong. Maybe there's some huge benefit to this I'm missing. I do like these maps though. Fighting on uh, Java Sail Barge here. The Java's Hut map is fun, or Java's Palace. <clears throat> I was a little disappointed I didn't hear any Rancor sound effects in the Rancor pit. Kind of like you hear Wampas in the ice caves of Hoth. Oh, what are you doing over here, buddy? Clean up kill. Oh, it hurts me. So we can see how much damage it does there. It takes about 10 health off. Which, eh. I would love to find the perfect opportunity to use this. Whoa! I missed, but... <laughs> this TIE Bomber guy, I think all his kills may be me. Well played, sir. Well played. Ah! So it can work as like a little, uh, I guess, not really a trap, but a way to let you know when enemies are coming from one way. You get some hit markers on it. Hit him! Hit him! Oh my god. Can you say horrible idea? What am I doing? Again, I'm not... I didn't see any big maps in this update. So no... nothing new for Walker Assault. I'm gonna assume they want to keep that mode as populated as possible and not split it up via map packs. I'm really hope that's not something that continues in the future. As a season pass owner, I definitely want more big maps. And I know this one, they didn't really go to any new planets, per se, and future ones, they will. So, here's to hoping. This map right now, it just... Or this map pack seems like it's a bunch of small objective-based game mode maps. Which, if that's your thing in the game, is good. And they can be fun. I usually only play them if it's a challenge or something. <clears throat> Iceman? You 
Maverick to come whip your ass. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. <clears throat> so hopefully in the future ones, definitely. Um. Oh, God. Just horrible. Just horrible. Um. I don't really know what they'll do for a big map for Cloud City. But, hey, we'll see. Real question will be is, who will the villain character be they bring in for Cloud City? Bounty Hunter, I assume? Boss? Guy G88? And it's gotta be Lando, right? Like, you don't do a Cloud City map pack and not have Lando. God, I am so bad with heavy blasters. <clears throat> it's all about that Death Star update, though. That is the one I think a lot of people will be keeping their eyes on. One that will definitely interest those that have lost interest in the game, or perhaps even not even picked up the game. But if they can introduce a space battle that almost recreates the Death Star battle, I think this game would go to the next level. And I really hope they, uh, they take that opportunity. <sighs> That's in, like, forever. We're in the Outer Rim right now. That Disruptor Rifle again. Here, have some gas. I get it in the right spot? Yeah, I did. But, it just doesn't kill. Steve, you have a uh, like a site that breaks down literally everything new in this. I'm sure the patch notes do too. I never found that site. It's only the EA site that's very vague. But if you have it, post it in the comments. I'm sure some of the other viewers watching take a look. Oh, you're not Greedo. Jesus, right in the back. Yeah, using the Heavy Blaster for one of the hut contracts. Uh, you can't look at the specifics here. You gotta get 40 kills with the Heavy Blaster. Oh no! We are not gonna let this end in a draw. With Two minutes left. Our cargo box is returned. Nice. I wonder what the little two means. I mean two people defending? It's a nice little addition. There's the disruptor rifle. <laughs> I wonder what it does to those in its vortex. Assuming it disrupts. Huh? See what I did there? Yeah, I haven't looked at the patch notes on the forum yet. I just hopped on and started playing this morning. <clears throat> Definitely interested to see how people are reacting to this DLC. Not quite sure if I would recommend it yet for the fifteen dollars. Gonna need a little more time to play with it. I would definitely recommend it if you if you have a team. There we go. Um, 
If you play with a group and you guys like to play the smaller objective-based game modes, then I'd say the DLC is worth it, but if you're a lone wolf and you like the bigger maps, I may hold off on this one. For now, at least. With the free updates they've been rolling out, it's been given new content. I, I'm not sure if the level cap... Steve, this is all you. The level cap... Do you need to have the DLC to reach the higher levels? I would assume not. Oh shit, this guy's about to land right on me. I need to switch to a targeting rifle. Just ignore Morgan Freeman's voice. Oh, are you actually going to give me credits after this game mode? What the hell? Targeting rifle streaks in a round get 15 kills with a targeting rifle. All right, here we go. Extraction with a targeting rifle. This should be interesting. So guys, here's the uh, hut contract screen. Completed that one. Oop, we can now do this one. 15 kills with that grenade. Ugh, that's gonna be rough. So you spend money to unlock it. And that's that, so we'll just unlock it. If you want to see your customization, nothing for the Imperials. Very disappointing. Um, for the Rebels, I can't look at right now, apparently. So, let's start the game. Ooh. This looks like a cool map. Yep, that's what I want. We're all good here. Let's do this. Fifteen players in a round. Oh! So, you get a trophy for playing uh, on every map once. I haven't looked at the new trophy list. There are five Excellent. new trophies I read. Princess Leia Organa is near your location. Remember when I said I'm horrible with heavy blasters? Wait till you see me with this. Oh, you monster. So the whole point of extraction is to stop this little rebel thing from reaching the extraction point. Oh, this could be evil of me. Oh, that's not good. So, later Steve, thanks for checking out. I'll be on tomorrow morning too if you're uh, free again. Same time, same place. <clears throat> so again, if you haven't seen this game mode yet, um, I was looking down at my computer. Shit. If you haven't seen this game mode yet, it's called Extraction. Basically, the Rebels have to get this cargo shipment to the extraction point. There's checkpoints along the way. They have a certain amount of time. 
they have to keep it moving. Imperials can stop it by running up to it and holding the interact button, which stops it. The Rebels get a nice little uh, squad shield on the thing they can activate every once in a while. Once again, it is definitely another objective-based game mode. Oh, Leia! Baby! Stop it! Stop it! Shipment immobilized. Keep the rebels away from it. Damn it! Stop the rebels in France immediately. Rebels ahead. It's the way I'm gonna get kills with these gas grenades is just by people doing damage and then me getting lucky. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you little bastard. These goddamn Rodians. See how the gas grenade? It's okay for this game mode, actually. If you keep throwing it on this uh, objective, keep them off it or weaken them significantly. Again, it takes about 10 health off every second or so, or every two seconds. Yeah, yeah, I got the gas on it. There we go. Good. Breathe it in. Those rebels are moving. Wait your orders on clear. Oh no, no! <laughs> Why did it stop capturing? I thought I'd get it and get out of there. <clears throat> I almost wish the gas grenade would uh, kind of impair your vision a little bit, make things a little blurry at least. It doesn't seem to do that much damage, so... If it's going to be something used a lot, I think it needs a little buff. Other than a Fever and Stiles and Garrison Grenades could be annoying. That's why I can't balance games. Oh, damn. Thought I had that pump. Great level three. Oh shit, shit. Abort, abort. Oh, 
So I'm kind of liking this game mode. Uh, I think... I, I mean, I know I really wish they would add voice chat. At least to these smaller game modes. I mean... Sure, it makes sense why it's not in the uh, bigger ones. Um, I'd love them to do like what they did with Destiny, where you have the option to enable team chat, or you can just stay in your party as is. But definitely these smaller game modes, I think, they'd be a lot more fun if there was some voice chat involved. <clears throat> it is a little disappointing when you can't coordinate anything for these games that definitely require coordination. No! This is bullshit! Alright, let's see how this gas works. Oh man, guys, you gotta, you gotta kill him. If we can stop this one more time, I think we may be able to hold it off. It's getting pretty close, though. Don't make the angry lady yell at me. Much better. Now keep the rebels away from that shipment. How many officers are on this comm system? Go have some gas. Think about that. Oh, I'm stuck. I think we got this. God, I really haven't killed 15 enemies yet. Oh, no. No! I needed one more for the hunt challenge. <laughs> that sucks. Also, for those wondering, um, you can only get the Outer Rim DLC right now if you bought the Season Pass. You get two weeks early, so in two weeks, if you don't have the Season Pass and you just want to buy this one, <clears throat> you can uh, buy it for fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, you know it's not gonna happen. That challenge. Just did that. Ugh. Where'd all my money go? Just trying to get something that applies to this. I like that one, but fuck. For those of you who saved your credits up, that will be useful. Need to pay to unlock hut contracts, which is how you unlock new weapons and new star cards. <laughs> and these are basically just glorified challenges. I think I went the wrong way. Damn. Damn! To learn in these maps. Oh, God, I'm bad with this gun. Why aren't you playing as Neen Nub? The greatest co pilot. That isn't Chewbacca or R2. Shit. Shit. That's just my luck right there. 
Oh look, a guy I'm gonna drop down and he drops a probe droid. I'm dead. What's down here? It's like a garbage pit. There's nothing down here, guys. Don't follow me. I'm leading my entire team astray. The challenges are a little glitchy. Uh, it's been a little glitchy awarding credits. And by little glitchy, I mean I've gotten zero credits for the past few rounds. Which is pretty unfortunate. Because I am in dire need. Oh, random fall damage. Hey, if you guys are watching the stream and you are enjoying it, hit that subscribe button, give it a like. I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow morning. Probably for the next few mornings. I work in the evenings right now, so I'll be playing a lot of Outer Rim, trying to get everything unlocked as fast as possible. <sighs> That's cold. An informant has pinpointed Boba Fett near your location. Watch out. Yeah, how you like that gas? <laughs> oh shit. I think that rocket literally hit me in the mouth. It's a great shot. One in a million, kid. Maybe not one in a million, but you get it. Oh, I hate this gun. Seems like the new weapon options are targeting rifles and blaster pistols. I didn't see any blaster rifles or uh, shot cannons. Hut contracts are a nice addition. As I said earlier, I would love it if that was something that became like a weekly challenge for people. Every week they add some new ones. I, obviously they're not going to add new star cards and weapons every week. Nine nub! No! Never surrender! Um, but it'd be cool if it was like bounties where you you pay some money, you do them, you get more money. It would be a great way to uh, have customization options added into the game, I think. <sighs> in control of the if there was ever a way to add customization options, I think that would be a great way to do it. Keep this thing moving, boys. And I think that's just a really easy way to add replay value. Woo. So hopefully they do expand on it. It would be a real shame if you finish these hot contracts, then there's nothing until the next DLC pack. Like, I can't imagine them doing that. Like, you son of the bitches? How do you like that? This new game mode extraction is pretty fun. 
not gonna lie, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying all the maps as well. If you are a fan of big maps, though, nice. New adrenaline stim. If you are a fan of big maps, unfortunately, there's none in this update. I don't know if that's something they're just gonna kind of keep for the free updates to keep those game modes populated. My god, Palpatine here. I know if you guys, uh, any of you are into the Star Wars books, but if you never read, uh, I think it's called Lords of the Sith? It's the book that has Vader and Palpatine on the cover. Uh, if you're into the books, you haven't read that, that is one to check out. It is a badass story, and it's just Vader and Palpatine destroying everything in their path. Definitely one to check out if you are looking for a book to read. Or an audio book. <clears throat> Random segue there. Oh, Taj. Ooh, shit. <laughs> I'm just going to take credit for that kill. <clears throat> Did nothing, but... What's down here? This game is truly beautiful, though. Credit where credit is due. Hater's gonna hate on this game. You know, I've had this rocket launcher. And I see a crazy old guy flying around. What? Come on up. No. I should have just used that and then used it again. Damn it! You know what? Screw you guys. I got one of you. What's up, Advanced Channel? Thanks for checking out the stream. If you guys are coming in late, you can always check the uh, archive of this as well, where you can see all the maps. The, the very the first one I played was Java's Palace. Watch out for stormtroopers. It was this, then I played a Heroes vs. Villains. If you guys didn't see Heroes vs. Villains in these maps now, it's 4v4 for the heroes and villains, and you get to pick which character you'll play as. Obviously, it's first come, first serve, so you gotta be quick to get the one you want. You guys, uh, haven't seen a cargo crate around here, have you? Oh, no! Oh, yeah, I'm dead. That was a nice throw. There'll just be one Twi'lek body left on the rocks. Where's this cargo at? Seemed a little stagnant as of late. Damn it. Oh, ho, ho. no. Cover 
the shipment until we get it to the extraction point. Boom. <laughs> Come on, gotta move this shit forward. Good job getting the objective moving. God, I could not get away. Loomis guy, Loomis school, Loomis the psychiatrist from Halloween. Can mean so many things. Damn it, it stopped again. We were doing so good. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm just like shooting everywhere possible around the guy. If he was standing against a wall, I think there would be a perfect outline. <laughs> you must get the shipment moving. Escort it towards the pickup location. <sighs> Definitely a blaster rifle fan. Love the Rebel blaster rifle. I think that's pretty much all I use. Every once in a while I use the uh, E11 if I'm feeling adventurous. If you guys haven't picked up this DLC yet and you're thinking about it and you don't own the season pass, you can buy it by itself in two weeks, $14.99. Otherwise, season pass, you get it now. Didn't he just activate that? <clears throat> if you are waiting to pick it up, make sure you start saving up your credits. You will need credits to unlock the hut contracts, which will net you the new gear and all that good stuff. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come The shield up, there you go. I bankrupted myself, unfortunately. Ooh, disruptor rifle, and I can't do anything. Got to keep this thing moving the rest of the time now. We really slowed down there. <clears throat> Uh, two, four, six, eight versus eight game mode. Damn. What? What did it hit? Are our trophies get 150 kills and successful matches of survival? Play all the new maps on the outer rim, complete 10 daily challenges, win 10 rounds of extraction, get 10 kills with the Relby V10, DL18, Scattergun, and Dioxus Grenade. Very strange. Ooh. Ooh, I got a new gun. All right, 
Alright, here we go. Jabba's Palace. Uh, heroes versus villains. No. And I'm on the Empire. Hold up. Hold up. Let me show you guys the menu real quick. Show you the whole HUD contracts, new customization options, and all that. New matchmaking menu as well. We'll look at that in a second. So, for those of you wanting to unlock something new, you have the weak way. Unlocked at rank 60, 17,000. You'll recognize him from Return of the Jedi on the sail barge, pushing Luke into it. No new emotes, no new Imperials. We did just unlock a new gun, though. A targeting rifle. Joy. <laughs> we saw how good I was on that. <clears throat> um, hut contracts. Go say hi to Jabba. 15 kills with the scout pistol. Yuck. 15 kills with the cycler rifle. Headshots. Thirty kills with pistols on blast. Oh man, I need money. Oh, there is a new scatter gun. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if this is this isn't a weapon you can uh, use. It's a star card. Great, so we need to do some blaster pistol kills now, seems like. Psycho rifle kills. Wonderful. So, uh, what are we going to look at? Yep, this is a new thing. You can just do hero modes, if you want to do objective modes. Hopefully they expand this. Uh, let's do extraction. Why not? Thanks for checking out the stream, guys. If you are enjoying it and you want to keep seeing new content, be sure to subscribe. I'll be doing the same thing tomorrow morning, same time, starting around 6 a.m. Pacific. Here we go, Jabba's Palace. Perfect. <clears throat> uh, let's check out this new gun. Relby V10. Ugh, oh, I'm gonna hate myself for doing this, but we need to try and get cycler rifle kills. Ugh, <sighs> oh, these rebel scum. It's a giant hookah pipe for Jabba. So if I walk up to this door, and it doesn't open. Oh, rebel. Let's see how this fires. Ooh. Okay, I'm kind of into that. Let's see what the damage is. Not too high. Alright, I'm kind of into this. It's, uh, it's just kind of like a single fire gun. Not overly damaging, but does enough. Especially if you get a headshot. That's cool. I like it got a much faster fire rate than the T21B. Ah. Ooh. He 
crafty little bastard. Yeah, I'm kind of digging this gun. It doesn't do nearly as much damage. Oh, shit. As, uh... The other targeting rifles, but... <sighs> I appreciate the rate of fire and the stability, I mean... There's almost no recoil to it. Psycho Lipro kills are going to be problematic on this map, I think. What are we doing? we got to stop this shipment. Oh, hero token. Hero token, did someone take it? You motherfucker. Definitely be interested to look up the uh, damage stats for that gun. they rebalance this gun and then I was really bad with it. Let's see if I can do anything with the E11 still. Not the E11, the EL44. You guys, uh... Need a little gas in there? those wondering, there is the rain pit in this map, you do get to fall into it, but sadly there is no rain core. Boo. That'd be great if they added that into the survival maps. There was just a uh, Jabba's Pit one. Oh! <laughs> the damn wall! There you go. Ooh, infantry turret. Hey, look, Han, Boogie. Let's go down in here. Oh, here's the rain corpet, everyone. Yay! Here's the little thing that poor guy tried to crawl up and he just couldn't do it. Here's the control panel. Oh man, it'd be great if you shot that and it just dropped down. Oh, come on, Chubb. Just trying to show off the Rancor pit. What's going on, Evan? Thanks for checking out the stream. If you guys are enjoying it, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll be going live again tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Pacific, with some more Outer Rim gameplay. <clears throat> Vader, what are you doing? You gotta lead the charge down there, buddy. You guys like that gas? That feel good? Oh, I thought I could get it. Again, the gas killed no one. A little too weak. I don't see that being a star card a lot of people are going to be using. <clears throat> Stay focused. Rebels nearby. Oh, I keep catching the wall. God damn it. Is 
Set up a little infantry turret. And give him a little gas. Just to see what happens. You know, getting someone. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, you uh you unlock all the new star cards through the HUD contracts. You have to pay for all the HUD contracts. Uh, they're not too expensive, around 3500 I think, for the base ones. And then to upgrade your cards, you have to do another contract. And those are about 8500 <clears throat> So make sure, if you don't have this yet, you're saving up some money. There's also a new unlock when you reach level 60. Yet to get a kill with that gas. Oh! Come on, gas, recharge, recharge. I need you, gas. I need you. It doesn't do enough damage. It's definitely fun. I would recommend definitely trying out Extraction. This is a fun game mode. <sighs> if you guys are watching this at work and you're bored, I'd hop on the Battlefront mobile app and do some of those little, uh, I don't know what they are, side missions that give you credits in the game, give yourself a little more room to work with. It's one way you can get started early. You're definitely going to want credits. Credits galore. God, we have to hold out for six minutes. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I got you, you Celestin prick! I just don't like Celestins. Uh, new gas grenade. It just, it does like, I think it's, we're gonna solve it right now. Here's how much damage it does. If it ever goes. Here we go. So, about 10 damage every second. About 10 damage every second. So, it's not that great. Someone's going to really want to stand in that gas to uh, die. Now, for this, if you throw it on the objective and your teammates are kind of shooting the place up a little bit, I could see it being useful. Oh! Um, but... And you've seen me throwing it at the objective, and I have yet to get a kill with it, so... It's eh. Much better. Now keep the rebels away from that shipment. I don't think it's a star card that will be, uh... used... much. But, eh, we'll see. I think it'll end up being like the smoke and flash grenade. Oh my god, I got someone with it! It's a Christmas miracle. <sighs> you guys are uh, waiting to get home to play this. When you first log in, make sure you go to the unlock screen or the collect screen on your menu and unlock all the hut contracts you can. You can play multiple at once, so you can unlock all of them and get to work on them. Don't just unlock one and work on it. Make sure you unlock them all. A lot of them have some similar objectives. There was one that had was for targeting rifles, where one was like get 15 kills in a round, and then another was go on three targeting rifle streaks. So it'll be faster if you do it like that. Level cap is also raised to level 60, so go nuts. There is this weird glitch where it's not giving you credits though.
And also, strangely, I completed these challenges in previous rounds a while ago, but it keeps showing these. There's a little glitches in here, but I'm sure they'll get it worked out. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this stream. I got to go to work, unfortunately. I know some of you are at work. So I will be on again tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Pacific time for a couple hours. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. Hit the like button. And I hope to see you guys with me tomorrow. Thanks for checking it out. And good luck on the Outer Rim.